channel today we are going to learn chapter 2 capacitor and dielectric so for this video we are going to discuss 2.1 capacitance and capacitor in series and parallel okay so the meaning of capacitor is a device that capable of storing electric charges or electric potential energy it consists of two conducting plates separated by a small air gap or a thin isolator. So usually this thin isolator here we call it as dielectric, where it such it can consist of mica, ceramic, paper, or oil. Okay. So here we have uh, three types of uh, conducting plates. Okay. And the first one is the cylindrical. The second one is the spherical, and the third one is paraplate. Okay, so usually for our syllabus, we will learn paraplane. Okay, so the symbol here we are using for capacitor, okay, is this one. Okay, so this is the symbol for the capacitor. Okay, next capacitance C. The capacitance of the capacitor is defined as the ratio of the charge on either plate to the potential difference between them. So the equations that we can write here is actually C equals to Q over V. Okay, C equals to Q over V. It's a scalar quantity, okay, meaning that we don't need to consider the directions and the unit of the capacitor is farad. Uh, usually we'll use farad or you can use coulombs per volt uh, because coulomb is Q, V is volt. Okay. So capacitor is always a positive quantity, so meaning that the value is positive. Okay, next is one farad. Okay, one farad is defined as the charge of one coulomb stored on each of the conducting plates as a result of the potential difference of one volt. Okay, so one farad is equal to one coulomb per one volt. Okay, next we will continue with the parallel and series of the capacitor. So if the capacitor is connected in series, meaning that, okay, here we have the battery and the battery is connected with the capacitor. One, two, and three. Okay. So this is C1, C2, and also C3. Okay, so since the capacitor is connected in series, meaning that the current okay, that flow through C1, C2, C3 are the same current. Okay, so therefore our Q total is equal to Q1 equals to Q2 equals to Q3 yeah, because they are from the same current yeah, because our current equation is equal to dQ over dt. Okay, if the current that flowing through capacitor C1, C2, C3 are the same, meaning that charge that will flow or store in C1, C2, C3 are the same charges. Okay, and it's equal to the total charge. Okay, next, the potential difference across each capacitor. Okay, so just now is the total charge. Now we want to find the, uh, the potential difference. Okay, so because of it's connected in parallel, meaning that V1 will equal to Q1 over C1, V2 will equal to Q2 over C2, V3 will equal to Q3 over C3. Okay. However, the total potential difference, okay, we can write as V total equals to V1 plus V2 plus V3. Yeah, because they already when we combine it will become total. Okay, because our capacitor is connected in series okay so we need to combine v1 plus v2 plus v3 and it become our v total and finally okay our c total or c effective for series is 1 over c equals to 1 over c1 plus 1 over c2 plus 1 over c3 okay so these are the three equations that we will use uh, later during answer the uh, questions okay next is the capacitor in parallel so if the capacitor is connected in parallel, meaning that our battery here is connected with the capacitor directly yeah, from terminal to terminal, okay? So it's connected from the terminal of positive terminal to the negative terminal of the battery directly, okay? So this is our C1, C2, and C3, okay? So when the currents come out, okay, here there is a junction here, uh, meaning that later the current it will split to C1 to C2, and also to C3. Okay, so our Q is actually will split also to C1, C2, and C3. However, the potential difference across C1, C2, and C3, they are from the same battery terminal. So our V total is actually equal to V1, equals to V2, equals to V3. Okay, okay. And just now when we talk about the total charge stored in the capacitor, is actually equals to Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. Okay, because here we 
with the total charge is uh, is connected in a uh, parallel okay so our Q will split into three way uh, three capacitor uh, will store in split become a uh, store in a Q C1 C2 and C3 okay next is our C total C total or sometimes we write as C effective okay is equal to C1 plus C2 plus C3 okay we continue with the derived and use energy store in the capacitor when the switch in the figure is closed the charge begins to accumulate on the plate so if here this is a battery, battery terminal negative, okay, the electron it will flow to the negative plate and the positive charge it will flow to the positive plate, okay, and it will store inside the capacitor. Okay, small amount of work is done in bringing a small amount of charge, okay, from the battery to the capacitor. So this is given by the equation for the work done is equal to work equals to our V times change of the amount of charge, uh, V times the Q, okay, therefore when we substitute V equals to Q over C, we will found that our work done is actually, okay, here, is equal to half CV squared, or you can write half QV, or you can write half Q squared over C, okay? It's actually from C equals to QV. So, please look at the next video. We will discuss on the example. Okay, see you. Bye.